Don't you just love stuff like this where you have like a before and after image comparison? I love stuff like this. It's interactive. It can draw the user and the viewer in, especially when you're showing off like, I don't know, a makeover or just, you know, before and after images. Now there's code pens out there and loads of plugins and ways to do this. The trouble I have with a lot of the code pens is they are riddled with masses amount of code. What if I told you the entire code for all of this is what you see on the screen right now? For from top to bottom, that is it. That's all the code you knew you need. And where did I get the code from? It's from a website here called Image Comparison, and it is a damn good bit of code. Okay, um, basically, um, you can just basically go over here and get the code, but I will put a link to it, and I'll also put a copy in the video description. All you do is drop this into a HTML widget. This works on WordPress, Elementor, Bricks Builder, anywhere where you can add in a HTML widget, all right, any bit of code. It is super, super simple. Go back over to the website, go to usage examples. There will be, it basically tells you how, like if you want to do a vertical slider, show the code. It basically shows you what you need to add in to modify the code that I'm gonna give you. So the link will be there, go and check it out. This is really, really good. And the reason I like it is it's pretty light. Um, all you've got to do, okay, and I probably shouldn't mention this, this is probably the most important bit, all you do is change your images. So I've gone and popped in my image over here for the before and then for the after over there. So once you've loaded them into your media library, you get the URL, drop it into there, and that's it. There's no fancy, funky code pen going on here. All the JavaScript is kind of already loaded in here. That's all you got to do. One thing I will mention, though, if any of you are using the PageSpeed 2023 video I put out there and you are using the explicit width and height code snippet to get around that performance issue, you will notice that I have gone and specified what my width and height is. In fact, I've gone and changed it to 300 for all of them just so you can see how it's working there. Of course, this all sits within a container, you know, align it, do what you want with it. This is a super, super simple, easy way of having an image comparison on your website to be more interactive. Hey, I'm Imran, Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, dish, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring.